up everyone thanks for tuning in thanks for watching this video I'm back down on the river but I'm in a completely different spot so I'm gonna give it a shot so I got the sluice all set up I mean first drop into the river oh my bam looks good so there it is it's in the river Got some pretty good flow. Got a couple other guys out here. Got Jason over there, Justin. And uh, I'm going to end up digging probably in this area right here. We'll see. We'll, we'll run a couple buckets and see what the color looks like right before this big rock. Looks like somebody has dug behind it. But neither less, lots of big boulders. You got some dirt with this greenery here with the roots. That's probably gonna come down. And uh, dig that out and see what that's underneath that dirt. But basically I'm just gonna run this area here, move these big boulders out of here. So it's gonna be a different video. I'm not digging in a gravel bar, I'm basically gonna see if I can find me some bigger pieces amongst all this rubble so let's get started with it and uh, push me back well I moved over from there and I came across here set up my sluice down there and I've been trying a couple spots along here and then I came to this tree trunk right underneath there is a whole bunch of good gravel but what caught my eye was how much black sand was sitting underneath there so I am finding pretty good color underneath this log so I'm gonna move my way up to the left there up to the high point because this would be an eddy when this water's flowing between all these rocks all that water coming from there eddying underneath there and building up along that log there so i'm gonna work my way up that way but right now i'm concentrating on as far as i can reach underneath there and running that stuff good stuff I'm telling you those guys down there i don't even see them they must be digging but hey we're having a good time beautiful beautiful day today even though it's cloudy, it's just a perfect temp. I think I ran about seven, eight buckets or so. I'm gonna stop and do a clean out. Let's pull this up, take a look. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's some gold in there. So we'll clean this out and uh, go add in another, I don't know, seven, eight buckets. Call it good for the day. Let's see if it looks better at this angle. And we got a little water underneath there. Kind of really shows the gold. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. All right, we're checking up on Jason and see how he's doing. Going great. Still got it? shiny all in the box, you guys. Hiding all up in between them garlic sands. Nice. Think I found in a little pocket. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Found a nice little pocket. Uh, listen, they found a nice little pocket back here too, behind um, a crease of two big old boulders down here. Yeah. He's pulling out some good gold today too, you guys. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, everybody doing great today. Yeah, I got a nice little piece sitting right there. Mm-hmm. Nice little piece. Some good looking pieces in there. Nice. Nice. And of course, I'm hand feeding. You hand feeding? Do you need a scoop? No, I got one. Oh, okay. I rarely use it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that magnet. Yeah. Rarely use it. Plus that scooper sometimes gets stuck in between the bigger rocks. Yeah. It's just easier just to get it out by hand. I think I got it set up just perfect today. Mm-hmm. The bigger rocks is moving and grooving. Yeah. And next week, mm -hmm. big old surprise. We are heading up north. And we're gonna find some serious fine gold from what I'm told. All right, seven more buckets done. And they ran through. Sorry about the glare, but it looks pretty good. There's some gold in the box. In a different area I've never been to. So, I'm pleased. Looks good. So let's get this cleaned up and get her home and pan it out so I can show you what she looks like. Turned out to be a really gorgeous day. Back down here on the river, day two, by myself, just doing a little bit of scouting. Now, I've been to this area before, but it's, the river is like super, super low, so I figured I'd take advantage of some spots that I know I can get access to because this river's running low. I mean, I have never seen it so low. It's only moving about 20 square feet per second. I mean, I have access to all these areas I normally are underwater. So, I'm gonna do a little scouting and see if I can find another spot. I haven't ran day one with uh, Justin and Jason yet, so I figured I will just collect them all together and run all those days together because I might be back out here tomorrow. We'll see, but right now, I'm looking at some really good juicy spots over here. Go do a little panning and see if I can find some color within amongst these rocks here. So a little different than the gravel bars, but you can find some pretty good gold in this too. So beautiful day out today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be cloudy and a little bit of showers, but what a drastic difference it's been. We were dealing with 85, 90 degree temperatures here. It's just too hot to come out and even lift a pan. So here we go.
Alright, so I'm averaging about a half a dozen per pan, so that's not too bad. So I think I'll just go ahead and stick with this spot. And run a whole bunch in here and uh, enjoy myself. This is peaceful, just panning and not sluicing. Uh, you know me, I'll be back sluicing probably tomorrow. But I'm enjoying myself right now. And I can't complain about the beauty at all. So I think I'm done for the day. I'm gonna pack up, take what cons I have. Not a whole bunch, but it was just fun to get out here for a couple hours and enjoy this beautiful river. So I'll be back out here again soon.